Hi, and welcome to Thursday's Thoughts. I said a few weeks ago that I wanted to share another story about a time when God answered a prayer instantaneously. I've shared one, and I wanted to share another. I thought I would do that today. I'm going to preface the story by saying we all are unique people. We all have a unique relationship with God. And we may not all experience God in the exact same way or be uh, spoken to by God in the exact same way. And we may not have our prayers answered in the exact same way. This is one of the ways that I feel God speaks to me. I'll also preface the story to say that you have to understand in the beginning that I have a fear of cars, basically. I don't like road travel. Some people don't like to fly. Some people have claustrophobia. Some people have fear of heights. Some people have agoraphobia. I mean, you name it, there's almost as many phobias as there are people. We have a lot of fears. My fear, I found, has the name motor phobia. And when I learned that it actually had a name, I didn't feel so odd anymore because I don't know very many people who don't like road travel and don't like road trips. I can be deathly afraid in a car. Um, it is a combination of claustrophobia and the speed, especially on um, open roads, freeways, interstates, and busy ones. It's one reason I no longer live in a big city like I used to. I live in a small town where it's very easy to get around at 35 miles an hour most of the time. There aren't a lot of cars. It's not so scary. But this was a time when we were going to be going on a trip. My husband and I had planned to go to California again. We had been two years earlier to our daughter's wedding. We were planning the trip again to go visit family. So we packed our bags. We got our cat and dog taken care of. We were ready to go. We got in our car in the morning. We headed out of town. We were not even out of town and this overcoming panic just gripped me. Just overwhelming panic. And I felt my chest tighten and my, my fists tighten on the handle of the car. And we were entering the interstate here, which you can go across North Dakota wide open interstate. You you don't always have a lot of cars around you. At times you might. But we were just entering the interstate to head west. And this fear just gripped me. I'm like, oh my word. We're not even out of town. And I am panicked. I have miles and miles and miles, 1,800 miles of road ahead of me. Now my mind is thinking the tires could fall off, the car could blow up, Steve could fall asleep at the wheel, um, one of us could have something happen and, you know, we, the, something goes wrong or somebody could run into us. Uh, I mean, I just had a bunch of scenarios go through, go through my head that are very frightening to me. Those who know me well, especially my family, know that car travel is a terrifying experience for me sometimes, and it can be very terrifying depending on where we are. So we're not even out of town. I didn't want to say anything to my husband because I didn't want him to panic with me. I didn't want him to, I didn't want to upset him to let him know that I was panicked, but I was scared and I could feel tears welling up. And I said, Lord, I'm not even out of town. Please help me. I have 1800 miles to go and 1800 miles to come home. Please help me immediately. I saw in my head, I don't know if you want to call it a vision or just a s saw in my head, this vision of two giant angels on either side of our car. They looked how we often um, describe angels, white with feathers and wings and golden hair. And they were on either side of our car, like with their torsos laying against the side of our car, one giant wing on top, one giant wing underneath. You can't really see what I'm doing. Heads facing forward, looking down the road. There was one on my side. There was one on the driver's side. Two gigantic white feathery angels with faces looking towards the road with like short golden curly type looking hair, like we often picture them. And the one on my side looked back at me and gave me a bright smile. And then it just looked back to the road ahead and I just, all of me just relaxed. And I said, thank you Lord for these guardian angels. It was the way God 
calmed my fears. And I had this distinct feeling that he had sent angels along with us to guide us and to guard us. And that they were watching the road and they were taking care of our car with us in it. And I just relaxed and I, um, the fear went out of me. And I just, again, I just said, thank you, Lord, for that vision you just gave me in my head. And, of course, I didn't see any angels on our car. There was nothing to be seen, uh, literally. But in my mind, the way God comforted, comforted me and spoke to me, there were these angels. Now, I do believe in angels, and I've had more than one experience that I believe there has been an angel around me. Um, not always looking like that, but as a person. But this was so spontaneous and was so um, saving to my panic. All along the trip, when the road got busier or we got in a crowded place or fast moving cars and people weaving, and if I started to feel that panic, I would say, no, there are angels right here on our car and they are looking ahead at the road for us. They are holding our car in their wings and they were sent by God to guide us and to guard us safely to our destination. So that is my story about another prayer that was answered very quickly and a way in which God spoke to me. I hope that you are aware when God is speaking to you and that you know that at any time you have a need that you can just reach out towards him and he will move towards you. Have a blessed Thursday.